Today I'm going to talk about how to remain joyful always. How to stay in joy and never lose your joy. You can be joyful always no matter what's going on around you. You see, joy doesn't come from the things that are happening, situations, the circumstances. Joy comes from the Lord. And you can choose to be joyful always regardless of your circumstances. It is God's will for you to live stable lives. And that's why as a Christian, you have joy that only comes from God. You see, if joy is based on circumstances, your joy will go up and down. But real joy only comes from God. And you can keep this joy always. Joy comes from God. Joy comes from the life of God. You can remain joyful always by the intentional things you do every day. The first way to stay in joy is to watch your thoughts. You will not be able to remain joyful if you're not intentional with your thoughts. Your thoughts are avenues, access points into your life. Every day, you're affected by the way you think. Every day, you're affected by your thoughts. One of the biggest ways the enemy tries to steal your joy is to throw negative and anxious thoughts. If you're going to remain joyful always, you must watch your thoughts. The first important thing to watch out for if you're going to stay joyful is to watch your thoughts. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of respect, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. If something is excellent and praiseworthy, think about these things. These verses give you intentional things to think about. This verse tells you, first, you should think of things that are true. Second, you should think about things that are worthy of respect. Third, it tells you to think about the things that are just and pure. All of these things speak about the Word of God. The Word of God is the truth. And if you're going to stay joyful, your thoughts must be anchored on the Word of God. The Bible says that the Word of God is the truth. If you're going to stay joyful, it must be based on the Word of God. God's Word never changes. God's Word is the truth. God's Word is worthy of respect. God's Word is pure. God's Word is just. God's Word never changes. God's word never fails. And that's why if you're going to stay stable and stay joyful, you must watch your thoughts. A joyful man or woman is one who watches his or her thoughts. A joyful man or a joyful woman always guards his thoughts or her thoughts by the word of God. A second way to stay joyful always is to watch your words. Your words are powerful. Every day you set the course of your life in motion by the words you release every day. Again, things will happen, situations will come to try to steal your joy. There will be tough days, challenging days, but even in tough days, you can remain joyful. You see, a victim is always subject to what he or she is going through, but a victor always stays on top. God gave you his life to make you a victor. God gave you his life to make you always stay at the very top. As a child of God, you can live stable lives by watching the words you speak. When tough times come, never change your words. Keep speaking the word of God about yourself and about that circumstances. You see, in tough times, it's natural to, to want to speak and say the negative things. But even in tough times, refuse to be negative. Refuse to declare to, about yourself anything that's inconsistent with the word of God. Even in the toughest moments, never say a negative word about yourself. Always say that which is in perfect alignment with the Word of God. Joy comes from the Word of God. Joy comes from the Lord. How do you stay joyful? By only declaring and speaking the Word of God. And it will take a lot of discipline. It will take a lot of discipline. But you see, a man who's going to stay joyful, a man who's going to stay stable, is a man who is intentional with his words. In Psalm 42 verse 5, the psalmist said, why am I so sad? Why am I so upset? I should put my hope in God. I should keep praising him, my savior and my God. The psalmist declared to himself, he would keep praising the Lord. He would keep his hope in God. How do you stay joyful? By declaring to yourself only the word of God, by committing to yourself. You're going to keep the word of God in your mouth by praising God and declaring God's word. 
about who God is and about who you are. How do you keep from being sad and being upset? By putting your hope in God, by anchoring your hope in the Word of God, by declaring God's Word about yourself and also declaring who God is to you. Keep declaring God's Word, refusing to be sad, refusing to be upset, refusing to be, to be worried. By being committed to the Word of God by always saying what God's Word says about you, always. Third key way to stay joyful is to watch your actions. You see, first I spoke about your thoughts, then I spoke about your words. The next important place that God is going to stay joyful is to watch your actions. Your actions power up your words. If you're going to stay joyful, you must watch your actions. What you do matters. And every day of your life, you must guard your life by the Word of God, only act in line with the Word of God. You will stay joyful by what you do every day. A man who stays joyful will be intentional on in what he does every day. A joyful man or a joyful woman will be intentional about what he or she does every day. Proverbs 4 verse 23 says, Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the springs of life. How do you guard your heart? You must guard your heart intentionally by what you do every day. An entrance point into your life is also what you do every day. You must guard your heart with diligence every day. Things will happen around you that try to steal your joy, but you must guard and protect your heart. One way to do it is to watch your actions. And Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing. This verse tells you to not be anxious, to refuse to be anxious. How do you stay joyful? By refusing to be anxious. It is a choice. Every day you will have the choice to be anxious or not to be anxious. A joyful man or woman is one who chooses not to be anxious, but chooses to stay in joy. And Philippians 4 verse 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Always choose to rejoice. You see, this verse in Philippians 4 verse 4 tells you to rejoice. You're not rejoicing because of the circumstance. Your rejoicing is in the Lord. How do you rejoice in the Lord? You rejoice in who the Lord is to you. You rejoice because your hope is in the Lord. You see, this verse says to rejoice in the Lord, not in the circumstance, but in the Lord. You see, your rejoicing is in the Lord because your eyes are not on the circumstance. Your hope is not in the circumstance. Your hope is in the Lord. Who is a Christian? A Christian is one whose life is based on the Word of God. A Christian is a child of God, the one who was born of God's Word. A Christian always patterns his or her life by the Word of God. And how do you stay in faith as a Christian? By patterning your life by the Word of God. And the fourth way to stay joyful is to watch your circle of influence. Every day the people you hang around affect you. Who you hang around, what you hang around, affects you. You can't stay joyful by hanging around people who are miserable and angry. Who you hang around will affect you. The Bible tells us not to be deceived. Evil company corrupts. The company we keep will affect us. We can't stay positive and have a positive outlook by hanging around people who are negative and mean and nasty. If you're going to stay joyful, watch and protect your circle of influence. Proverbs 22 verse 24 says, Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. This verse cautions you not to make friendships with angry people, not to make friendships with furious men, because we become who we hang around. We are affected by who we hang around. Making friendships with angry people, you become just like them. Misery always loves company. You will always become what you hang around. If you're going to stay joyful, spend time with joyful people. Hang around joyful people. That's how you stay in joy. I hope all that I've shared today has blessed you. I hope all that I've shared today has helped you understand how to stay joyful always. I want to say thank you for tuning in with me for another awesome episode of my program. Join me next week for another amazing episode of my program. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.